To begin 3D modeling, change your workspace to the 3D modeling workspace. For now, I'll close the materials browser, though I'll bring it back up later. 3D objects consist of solids, surfaces, and meshes. The names are fairly self-explanatory, with solids being solids objects, surfaces being 3D objects with no thickness, and meshes are basically the same as surfaces, except that they can be sculpted more easily. In order to create these objects, you'll have to learn a little bit about navigating in 3D and using the UCS. The easiest way to navigate in 3D is to hold shift and click and drag your mouse wheel. That will rotate your drawing in three dimensions. To get back to a plan view, you can type plan W for the world UCS. Another useful tool is the navigation cube, which should automatically come on in a 3D visual style, or you can turn it on for 2D visual styles in the options. Go to Options and 3D Modeling, and under In 2D Model Space, check Display View Cube. Now let's start modeling. We'll create a simple bolt. On the Home tab of the ribbon, we can choose a solid primitive cylinder. This is just like a circle. I'll pick a center point, pick my radius, and now I'm picking the height. So I'll rotate, shift, and drag the mouse wheel into a 3D view so that I can see the object I'm creating. Then I'll choose a height. Now I need to make a head for this bolt, but I don't want to create it on the XY plane, which is at the bottom. I want to create it at the top. So I need to move my UCS. To do that, I'll type UCS, and I'll look through the options, and choose Face, because I can choose a face of this 3D object chose the face and I'll accept. Now I can do plan again. This time to create the head I'll just use a polygon. Six sides. Choose the center. And create the polygon. Now this is still just a two-dimensional object, so I'll need to do something to create it in 3D. I'll use the extrude command, choose my polygon, and specify a height. I'll set my UCS back to world by typing UCS and then W for world, and that moves it back down to the bottom of my objects. Next I'd like to make my cylinder and the head of my bolt one piece. To do that, I'll use the union command. Under Solid Editing, I'll click Union, select both of my objects, and press Enter. And these become one solid object. Next, let's make some threads. I'm going to go back to my plan view. I'm going to create a closed polyline, which I'll use to cut threads out. Next, I'll create a helix, which I'll use to cut out the threads. On the Draw Panel drop-down, choose Helix, choose the center point, and use Quadrant to specify your diameter. I'll use the same top diameter. Change my number of turns to something like 20. And choose my height. Even once my helix has been created, I can stretch it up if I need to, using this arrow grip. Next I'll go to the Solid tab on my ribbon, and I'll choose Sweep, which creates a 3D solid by sweeping a 2D object. The object I'd like to sweep is my triangle, and I'll choose an appropriate base point. Then I'll choose my sweep path, which is the helix. Finally, I'll subtract the helix, this new 3D object I've created, from my bolt to make the threads. To subtract from, I'll select the bolt, 
and what I'm going to subtract is this helix. Finally, to, let, to take a look at the object, I'll change my visual style. It can be done on the Home tab, on the View panel. The top drop-down is for visual styles. And I'll choose one like Conceptual. To add materials to your 3D objects, type MAT to open the Material Browser. Choose the material you'd like to add. And simply drag it from the tool palette onto the object. To see that material, I'll have to change to a visual style like realistic. To create surfaces or meshes, use the same navigation tools and follow the options in the commands.